It's one of the number one things when I used to meet seniors when I started the place at home back in the day is seniors wanted to leave. So every time I talked to someone, they, they were so worried about cost because seniors wanted to leave right. something to their kids. And this yeah. sounds like a good benefit that they can utilize to, to accomplish that before liquidating everything else. So yeah. good afternoon, everybody. It is Franchise Friday. And today we're going to continue the conversation of ways to pay for care primarily focused on private pay right now. Private pay is a plethora of things. It's savings, it's assets, it's stocks, it's bonds, it's family members liquidating certain possessions. Uh, and also one common one is accessing equity in your home to use to pay for care. So I'm here today with Scott Bowman, National Director of Home Care Funding at Mutual of Omaha. And he's gonna talk about a program called the Home Equity Conversion Mortgage for Care Program. Scott, thanks for being here. Uh, if you can go right into it and explain what that is. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, Dustin. Appreciate it. Um, home equity conversion mortgage. It's a long word, obviously. So we call it HECM uh, for care. It's basically a shortened version of the home equity conversion mortgage. It's a great option where the clients can use a portion of their equity that they have in their home to pay for their care while still keeping another portion remaining for their heirs to be able to inherit. So it allows them to draw money. It can be in an equity line of credit. It could be in a lump sum where they have access to the cash, again, that they can use to pay for their care. The beauty of the program is that they have an option. They can either make a monthly payment if they want to, but nine times out of 10 in their financial situation, they really don't want to. And therefore they can defer all of the interest to a later point in time uh, and have it paid back at that time. So it's a nice option, option because they get cash but they don't have to be spending a monthly payment in order to pay that back right now, it's all deferred. Um, so it's a, it's a great source that they could to use uh, for a portion of, again, of their equity. Oh, that sounds great. You know, just listen to you, Scott. It sounds sort of like a reverse mortgage, but you, you, we talked earlier and it's a little bit different. Can you explain how it's different? Yeah, yeah. So the, the difference is, well, it is, it is an FHA insured reverse mortgage product. So it is a version of the reverse mortgage product, but one of the differences over the years, these programs had dramatic changes applied to them as far as borrowing limits and the availability that they will give to the client. Before in the past, the client got a mortgage and all of a sudden they owed far more than what their home was worth. And that has been eliminated. So now that risk no longer really exists. Mm -hmm. Plus, they now have that option of making a payment if they want to on the mortgage. So it really doesn't have to be added to the back of the balance if they don't want to. So there's been a lot of changes over the years. Um, we take the time to educate the clients effectively on those changes. And we have a great marketing tool and educational video that we kind of share with them that I think we're gonna share with your, your folks a little bit later um, that talks to them about that and really, really counsels them on the changes. Yeah, well, perfect. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, we'll be posting that video in the comments section so that people can access it. And one of the cool things about it that you said earlier is that it's it's a way they can pay for care, but also the kids don't lose, you know, they can kind of manage that inheritance. One of the number one things when I used to meet seniors when I started the place at home back in the day is seniors wanted to leave. So every time I talked to someone, they, they were so worried about cost because seniors wanted to leave Right. something to their kids and this sounds like a good benefit that they can utilize to to accomplish that before liquidating everything else so yeah yeah um, well thanks for being here that's franchise friday everybody make it a powerful weekend we'll see you next week and continue the conversation of ways to pay for care thanks scott you bet thanks for having me